Hydrogen is really a great technology uh, for automotive use. It's also really great for mass energy storage, uh, which is our primary focus. So we want to get people excited about hydrogen, right? And so the other thing that you can use uh, a lot of power for is huge, huge acceleration, huge top speeds. And that's what this vehicle is all about. Uh, this is the XP1, uh, and what it does is uh, it basically delivers a lot of power to all four wheels uh, to get you a very, very fast 0 to 60, uh, actually 2.2 seconds, uh, and a very high top speed over 200 miles an hour. This communicates why hydrogen is so good for automotive, right? And what you can do with a car like this is you can refill in three to five minutes. And what's unique about that is that this is actually an electric vehicle. Not unlike most other battery electric vehicles you guys have heard of, uh, this will actually have the same torque on those motors um, and it will have the ability to, uh, to be cool. And that's what hydrogen is all about. Hydrogen stores electrical energy in the bond between the hydrogen molecule itself. What this will do is it'll take the hydrogen, it'll inject it into this engine, it'll pass by a, a, a plate, right? That plate is called a fuel cell plate, right? Uh, that's going to be a membrane electrode assembly. It's going to have a catalyst on there. That catalyst is going to have a reaction with the hydrogen, right? It's going to separate on the anode and the cathode side, and there's an electron that's going to charge the vehicle. The more hydrogen you pass through, the higher the power is going to come out of this engine. And uh, that power will actually move these wheels, and this, this car will actually uh, go from that hydrogen energy. And it recombines the oxygen on the other side of that, that cathode uh, to basically create water. So hydrogen, if you imagine two hydrogen atoms sort of locking arms uh, together as a molecule, uh, separating, releasing an electron, and then recombining with oxygen to make H2O. So your only byproduct is actually water uh, from a vehicle like this. So in many ways, it's powered by water because the way that you actually create hydrogen in a green way is taking water and using the process of electrolysis and splitting it up from this basic form. So H hydrogen oxygen. So now you're creating oxygen in hydrogen. The hydrogen you can actually use in an engine like this, and now you have a green total closed loop system. It becomes water again, you create hydrogen again. This engine can actually last three times longer than most hydrogen engines. And that's because there's a very, very cool catalyst technology that preserves the platinum, right? It does not allow it to degrade as quickly. And that is why uh, this is so unique in its engine form, not just because of the raw power, but also because of its durability. This car can go 1,000 miles, it can refill in three to five minutes, and the engine can last over a million miles because of that catalyst. And that's the, the very exciting things that we're doing here uh, in Columbus with some exciting partners that we're gonna be announcing very, very soon. Uh, we'll talk all about that uh, locally here too. Part of what we wanna do here in Ohio is build more stations to build the infrastructure. So you need to ask what's different. Number one, the cost has come down. Number two, we have this unique technology that's much more durable and a product. So there's been more products that have been made since then that are actually viable that people can purchase and drive today. What you can do with hydrogen instead of having to duplicate a battery over and over and over and over and over again, for when you still uh, sell, uh, um, store something on very large scale, is actually just have a larger tank, right? So large tanks are very cheap for hydrogen. So what you can do, for example, you take wind, you take solar, which takes energy very irregularly, and you can basically create a bank. Imagine like any bank you can go to to store your money. So now you're storing electricity. Today, big energy companies want to build solar. Solar is cheap now. Wind is it's not expensive either. They want to build bigger solar farms, but it makes no economic sense. There's no way to store the energy. When you introduce hydrogen as the energy storage mechanism, now you can store huge 100 megawatts all the way to gigawatt range with this type of technology. And that's exactly what we want to do. That is our focus, to change and to decarbonize the world by creating a bank of energy that can be used. And energy companies are excited about that too. And they're going to be announcing some cool stuff with those two as well in the future. So yes, we will provide that full service range. Um, one thing though about the car, and it is exciting, uh, there are a few features that I want to point out. 
um, you know, not only does it look as cool as we, as we want it, but the whole idea in our theme is like space technology for the road, right? Now that's not arbitrary. We don't, we don't just like the way that sounds. Like this actually has some really cool stuff in it. And, um, and we do work with NASA on a number of things, right? So there are several uh, uh, commercialized technologies that we are actually uh, using from NASA that are in this car that are pretty cool in of itself. One for storage, one for power management, and a few others that are gonna be announced a little bit later. But one of them actually is in this wing specifically, right? But this actually wing uh, is adjustable, I'll tell you why. Number one, uh, it can adjust the aerodynamics. So it can break up the flow of air around the car uh, so you have active aerodynamics for handling and cornering. So this will actually move in this orientation. The other thing that this wing does because it moves is it allows you to actually pivot to, to hit different angles of the sun. Why? Because this actually is a, a solar wing specifically. So it has a, a very unique NASA technology uh, called multi-junction solar uh, and that allows you to basically have three times the, the, the uh, energy capacity uh, and the speed that basically ability to grab that energy in a much smaller service area. The main takeaway from this vehicle uh, is it does have some really cool um, you know engine technology. It's all about the engine technology which you see right here. Uh, there are some cool technologies that we're going to introduce uh, later that are also part of this car that are going to be a, a separate announcement. But when it comes to car design relating to fuel cells the magic sauce is all about the chemistry, right? So the catalyst chemistry, the material science, that is what's most important in this vehicle and how that works specifically. When I told you that, that durability we talked about, the 3X durability, that's what makes this thing so unique, that million mile target. Uh, we are doing that to make these more viable across the board, not just for this application, but obviously if you're in a commercial truck, you want that to be you know, a, a long lasting vehicle. So the solar wing represents wind. It basically wraps around the car and it's shaped by the wind itself, right? So this represents wind, it all represents solar. The blue axis you see actually comes through uh, the actual uh, wheel here, if you look a little bit closer. This actually sweep through here and come right back through this A-pillar. This represents water, right? Because water is the foundation for how you create hydrogen and the byproduct of hydrogen. And the roof, right, this canopy, we wanted to give people this massive, this is a very large canopy, and there's a very large screen inside this also. Uh, we wanted to give people the, the feeling of being inside of a spaceship.